Jo here with another video for Time for Tea Designs. Uh, this video is actually um, a little bonus video made after our Facebook Live last Thursday where we made a Valentine's card using the Two Can Do This stamp set. Um, but I had um, this vision in my head of another card using the larger Toucan that we didn't actually use during that uh, that event. So um, I won't be showing you the stamping and curing in of that larger toucan. You can see that in the, uh, the video that was posted from the Facebook Live. But I have just stamped out some further elements, um, the branch there um, and one of the leaves. And then I've also stamped out a couple more uh, of the flowers from the Hip Hop Hooray stamp set. So I've stamped those onto some super smooth uh, cardstock and um, with some memento black ink um, and now I'm colouring those using my Copic markers so I've just listed there the colours that I've used to colour up my tree branch and the leaves and like I say I will add a link um, if I can uh, figure out how to do that um, to the video from the uh, Facebook live um, that will uh, give you a bit more detail on how I coloured uh, coloured up my tokens um, but it was a really simple process and I really liked the way that he turned out so I didn't want to wait him I did want to use him in another card so I'm just coloring up my, uh, my one of my leaves here and I'm using the YG 23 and YG 25 just to lay down uh, my base color and then a little bit of shading towards the middle of that larger leaf and then the base of my smaller leaves deepening that up with the YG 17 and then um, just blending that out with the paler color for my flowers, I'm using some of the same colours that we used in the previous card. Um, so some YR shades for the centre and then my RV17 and RV19 for the, for the little flower on the right. And then using some BV shades that will tone in with my toucan and some of the, the inks that we're going to use when we create our background. So just the, the lighter shade of the BV13 and then the BV08 to add a little bit of depth and shading. Um, I've added some of that to the center of the pink flower as well, just because I thought that created a little bit more interest. So I'm just going to run these through my die cutting machine now. So I'm getting the coordinating dies for the um, for the branch and the leaf. There are no coordinating dies with the Hip Hop Hooray stamp set. So I will just be fussy cutting those out very quickly. So just uh, cutting away those uh, those little flowers so that I can pop just pop those into my die cutting machine. And now we'll just fussy cut these out very, very quickly. So um, just using a pair of my X-Cut scissors. These are the uh, non-stick ones. And these are a really nice size for cutting out just a little image like this. So just very carefully cutting those little um, little nooks um, in between the in between the petals there um, just so that it's got a nice bit of shape but you don't have to go into that much detail if you wanted to you could just cut around the outer outer shape so there are all my elements uh, completed and I'm just going to pop those to one side you can see there's some additional leaves and another flower there that were left over from my previous uh, card so now I've taken a piece of A6 uh, Super Smooth cardstock and I'm just starting to apply some colour. This is the Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink and I'm applying that colour to the bottom right hand corner and letting that fade out towards the top left. Um, so I'm just applying that using one of the beautiful blender brushes, which means that I'm able to go in um, with a lot of confidence without worrying about creating any harsh lines. So this was one of the things that inspired the card today. This is the Tropic Like It's Hot stencil and I did really want to use this in the previous card um, but it didn't work with the layout that we were we were working with. So um, it just means that we ended up with a, with a bonus card which is really nice. So um, I'm using the Tattered Rose again on top of my stencil um, and on top of that Tattered Rose background. Uh, this is a really nice effect with the um, with the distress oxides because you can keep layering more color on and it will it will deepen. So I wanted to be able to see my uh, my 
leaf um, images through the uh, through the background, um, but I did want it to fade away. So I didn't want um, the bright color right towards the edge. So I've used my picked raspberry as my mid color, if you like, and then the seedless preserve will be the darkest shade that I use, and that's in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm just applying that. Um, it, towards the bottom of my uh, my stencil and my cardstock. So just blending through those colours with a bit more of the picked raspberry so that there's a nice even blend between each shade. And then um, I will go over that again with some of that tattered rose, just so that I'm getting some of that, um, some of those leaf shapes just peeking out the top of my, uh, my design. And then to soften all of that up, I'm just using that same uh, brush that I used with the tattered rose. I've not applied any more colour. I'm just using that to buff over the surface of my cardstock and really smooth, smooth out those edges. So I really liked how that looked in the end, that had come out really pretty and the colour combination is uh, fast becoming one of my favourites. Uh, we decided upon this uh, during the Facebook Live and I really did like it. So I'm now just figuring out where I'm going to put all of my images and whether they will fit on and then I'm going to trim down this piece of cardstock ever so slightly just so that there will be a small border when I add that to my card blank. So I'm going to be using an A6 size card blank. So I'm just going to trim it off. Um, I think it's about um, about five millimeters off each, end, each edge, only a tiny little bit um, so that uh, there will be this small, small border around the outside of my focal panel. So um, just lining that up to see that that all fits. And then I decided that I did want to add a little bit more of interest to my background. So I'm going to use my, um, my watercolors, my uh, Gansai Tambai, um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if it's not, <laughs> um, the, uh, the watercolors. Um, and I have the, um, the larger set of these and in there there's this lovely gold shade um, that I'm just going to um, I've watered down quite a bit so that I can get it to the right consistency just to splatter off the edge of my palette and I'm also using the pearly white um, color that's in the in the palette and again I'm just tapping that off the side of my palette and then also using that to flick some smaller um, elements onto the cardstock so that creates a really nice shimmer it's really hard to see um, on camera but in real life it looks absolutely gorgeous um, and just adds that little bit more of an interest to your background so now I'm just going to stamp my sentiment. This is Thinking of You and this is from the uh, Say Anything stamp set um, that came out um, just before Christmas. Um, and I'm going to, now that's stamped into my background, I'm just going to apply some of this thick foam tape to the back of my focal panel so that I can adhere that to my card base. So just making sure that that's fully covered so that we don't get any bowing. And I do apologize if you can hear um, some noise in the background, that's actually rain. It is so, the weather is so bad here at the moment. We do have a storm. Um, so yeah, it is pretty noisy. So apologies if you can hear that in the background. So now I'm just gonna arrange all of my elements um, and decide whereabouts I would like them to sit and make sure that they all fit. I want to create some of those leaves um, just on the back of my my branch there so um, that covers up the end of the branch um, and add a few more little elements to the other side and then my little toucan can, can sit on top um, and it just creates a really nice little tropical effect um, once they're all positioned so in order to adhere those to my background, I am just going to use some liquid glue for the most part, um, as I want them to sit flat on the background. This is a really nice, um, simple card to make. It was um, a lot of fun to put together. Um, all of the elements worked really well together. Um, and like I say, it was just really quite simple. And again, I'm just using some more, um, 
some more elements just to, to build up my scene and I really wanted that other leaf to just fit in there so I did I did squash that in there and, and thankfully the liquid glue allows you to to make changes if you're not fully decided on what you want uh, and where things to sit or if you need to move things around you do have that little bit of wiggle room so that that is um, something that I do do like about using liquid glue rather than maybe your tape runners where things become a little bit more permanent that bit quicker I'm very indecisive crafter so I have to be able to move things around and um, so I'm just adding some foam tape to my toucan he will be the only element that's really popped up um, but because of the different elements that are already on there they do still create that bit of dimension I felt that I was one leaf short <laughs> sorry one flower short and um, so I did color up another one really quickly using some of the same colors that we've already used and um, these pink shades um, we used in the previous um, video as well just so that it all ties together and, and it all really coordinates and that little leaf just sits in the background there and I think that just finishes it off with an extra little pop of color so now we've got pretty much everything completed. I did just want to add some finishing touches. So the gel white jelly roll pen is really great for this. Um, so just adding a few highlights to my toucan, to his across his beak and to some of those flowers. And then finally, um, some uh, shimmer on the, on the flowers and onto my toucan's um, feathers and around uh, that other flower and then I do enjoy using a bit of glossy accents um, to just finish off my the center of my flowers um, but I thought that beak was too good an opportunity to miss um, so I did um, apply a really good covering of the glossy accents all over all over his beak um, and then to his eye as well and once that's dried that beak does just really come to life with that extra bit of, uh, of gloss. So that's the uh, the bonus video for this week. I really hope you enjoyed it. I loved making this card. I think it's come out really, really well. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it too. If you have, then please do like and subscribe to our channel to get more inspiration and projects coming really soon. Um, and in the meantime, thank you so much for watching today. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye now.